for at least a little while, at least through the next seven days, considering our seven day forecast, relatively cold to kick off that next work week. But then by the middle of the week, we should be seasonable. This weekend will be below normal. And just because we also have that fresh snowpack and that sunshine, at least that sun angle this time of the year is a little bit stronger than say back in December. So that will at least help in terms of melting it just a little bit. Seven inches is what we got though in Randolph, 6.4 in Canton, seven over towards Walpole, farther off towards the south and east. That's where those snowfall totals did really wind down, but farther off towards the north and west of the city. That's where we did see snowfall totals in the double digits. We're talking right about 10 inches in Stoneham, Lexington, Waltham, Sudbury, even Peabody saw 10 inches of snowfall farther out towards the west, out towards Worcester County. Those totals ranging from six to even closer to nine inches of snow farther south and east as I had mentioned before those snowfall totals really do wind down just because we did see some sleep mixing in then it did flip over to some rain at points so talking two inches in Lakeville 3.4 in Taunton one to three across much of the Cape and the south coast as well as the island storm scan though right now we are dry across much of the area we did see a few of those ocean effect snow flurries out there towards the outer Cape but those have since diminished so now we're just seeing a few ocean effect clouds out towards the Cape and the islands those temperatures now mid upper teens as we head farther off towards the north and west. Otherwise, low 20s from Nashville to Boston and the area south and east also into the 20s. Those winds mainly out of the west northwest five to get closer to 15 miles per hour. It's still enough to make it feel a little bit colder. Those actual air temperatures. So a few locations are feeling like they're into the single digits, including Jaffrey, Worcester, Boston and Beverly elsewhere, at least feeling like we're into the double digits across southern New England through the day today. We'll see a few clouds popping up through the afternoon, but overall still mainly sun filled. High temperatures today, though, only into the upper 20s to low 30s. Overnight tonight, we'll see mainly clear skies, and we start off with sunshine tomorrow morning, and then we'll see increasing cloud cover from the north and west ahead of a cold front. That cold front drops in, and that will bring us a threat for a few of those snow showers right along that cold front. So it's really not until later on tomorrow evening, thinking after 6 p.m., this is a, even a view of 8 p.m., that we do see that line of snow that does slide its way farther south and east. So later on tomorrow evening, and later on tomorrow night, that threat for a few of the snow showers passing through. Today, though, not so much. We're seeing the mainly sun filled skies, highs around 30, upper 30s. Look ahead towards Sunday, and here's that cold front that swings through later on tomorrow evening, producing a few of those snow showers. High pressure returns on Monday, but it is much colder behind that cold front. We're going to be tracking those high temperatures on Monday back into the 20s. So as I mentioned, it's going to be a cold start to the work week. Then we see those temperatures do moderate back into the mid 30s by Tuesday right around seasonable highs. We'll head towards Wednesday, but relatively quiet for much of that seven day forecast, a hot, uh, aside from a few of those evening snow showers tomorrow and a chance for a night shower on Tuesday.